Hello, my name is JJ Jones, and today we're going to talk about how and where to give a shot when giving a shot to a goat. When giving medications to goats, it is very important, first of all, to read the, uh, the bottle from which the medicine is coming from. That gives you three important pieces of information. The first piece of information is, is how much to give that animal. On the label, it'll tell you exactly what the dosage should be for that uh, species and weight of animal. From that, then it also gives you a choice, or in particular as far as how to deliver the medicine to that goat, either intramuscularly or subcutaneously. Intramuscularly is a shot that we, when we give is directly into the muscle. Subcutaneously is a, a shot that we're going to give underneath the skin. And, so during, and to do that underneath the skin, the best way to do is to grab the skin of the goat and put the, place the needle underneath that tent flap that we've lifted up and then give the shot then. When giving shots, the other important thing is the, the needle size. Syringes really doesn't matter as much as the needle size, but on a needle size for a goat, we need to typically use an 18 gauge needle. And t the most common size used is 18 gauge and one inch. An 18 gauge, one inch needle is makes, gives us the opportunity to give any types of medicine, whether it be vaccinations or antibiotics or anything like that to a goat relatively easily without little problem. Now you can go to a 20 gauge needle, but the 20, with a 20 gauge needle is a smaller needle and therefore takes it, uh, you take a chance of maybe breaking that needle or bending it and then and having a bad situation at that. So with that, you, you do that, you know, you've read the label, you know how much to give. This is a CD&T vaccination we're going to give. It says on this label, it says three cc's. So we're going to pull three cc's from the bottle. We just stick this uh, needle into the bottle, pull out, and I typically pull out more than three cc's, make sure there's no air bubbles in it, push it back to three, pull it out of the bottle. Now, it's always good and, you know, sometimes to put the cap back on the needle just so you don't stab yourself or your workers. And then my worker here will bring my goat over here that we're going to give a shot to. Now, where to give a goat a shot is important. What we got to remember is that these goats are meat animals and we're going to eat these animals. And so, therefore, we don't want to, uh, you know, give a shot in the place that might actually ruin a piece of the meat. Go ahead and set him down, Justin, for us, if we can. All right, so what, we're gonna do, what we don't want to do is give the goat in a shot anywhere from the shoulder. The goat's going to stand still for us. Give a, we don't want to give a shot anywhere from the shoulder blades back. The best place to give a shot for a goat would be right here in the, in the neck area. Okay, This neck area, there's very little muscle meat there, so we can give that shot to them. And, and not ruin anything. Now, the R shot says that we're supposed to give it subcutaneously. So that means underneath the skin. Come on. Okay, we're going to take this goat. And I'm going to grab the, uh, a, um, grab the skin here, pull it out. Notice I get a little flap. I'm going to stick the needle in and push it in. And there we go. That's done. Now, if I was going to give the intramuscular, I wouldn't pull the skin out. I would just stick the uh, needle into the muscle and give the shot. If you're given a choice between intramuscular and subcutaneously, always give the shot subcutaneously or underneath the skin. And that's how you give a shot to a goat. <laughs>